Welcome to Guardians of the Galaxy 101, your introduction to Marvel Studios' most unique group of superheroes yet. Sure, the Fast and Furious franchise can boast its diversity, but how about species diversity? Yes, imagine if Han Solo didn't team up with a bright young squeaky clean Jedi and a princess, both human mind you, but rounded up a crew from those sitting in the cantina when it was last call. Well, that's what Peter Quill is going to do when he finds out that the orb he just stole is wanted by one Ronan the Accuser. Now, I'll introduce you to his ragtag team shortly, but first, let's meet Quill, who Marvel is indeed hoping will be their very own Han Solo, even though Disney does own both now. As I've noted before, Quill also has some Captain Kirk DNA, as he's not just willing to fight alongside aliens. And besides, he doesn't need to go after any space princesses, as he's a space prince. Now, Peter Quill's origin story was originally much darker, but with the movie on the horizon has recently been retconned with the new comic series that debuted in February 2013 with Marvel Now. His father, Jason of Sparta, had crash-landed on Earth on the farm of a young woman, Meredith Quill, who lived alone. As she nursed him back to health, they, surprise, fell in love. But sadly, when he was fully recovered, Jason had to leave as his people, the Spartoi, were at war. He left her with his space gun and a child. Meredith raised Peter on her own, never telling him about his father from another planet. But then, ten years later, she was elated to see his spaceship return, only to be killed by its occupants, aliens hell-bent on ending the royal Spartak's bloodline. Peter, who in a stroke of luck finds the space gun, just barely manages to escape as his house is destroyed. The alien assassins from Badoon assume their target has been killed, and Peter is left an orphan, an angry orphan. Hey, this is going to be a movie. Jerks always have a deep-down, sympathetic reason for being jerks. Peter, as an adult, eventually meets his father, but still angry that he left his mother alone and defenseless, refuses to acknowledge his royal heritage, instead deciding to be a space-exploring punk. But he does take the name of one of his father's aliases, Star-Lord. As for superpowers, he's basically like Captain America, thanks to a uh, different kind of serum, Spartoid Genetics. He's also pretty famous for his ship, called Simply Ship, and he shares a psychic link with its AI. And based on some of this concept art for Guardians of the Galaxy, looks like Ship is in the mix as well. It's just too big to stand in an intergalactic police lineup. However, in the comics, Ship has been known to create a humanoid version of herself. As for the comics, Peter Quill's Star-Lord getup is a uh, bold fashion choice. But as we can see from the first look at the film, he's traded it in for a red leather coat, because everyone looks good in red leather. Although, considering how hard Chris Pratt has worked on his abs for the role, you'd think he'd be wearing a blue midriff under it. So do you think Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, is the new Han Solo, Captain Kirk, or maybe even Indiana Jones? But I bet Marvel would settle for just Robert Downey Jr. light. Write your thoughts down below, and you can meet the other Guardians of the Galaxy right now!